First of all, I saw our Milky Way galaxy, and then I was pulling back away from it. I could see lots of other galaxies in the distance, somewhere nearby, and I realized that I was being shown our entire universe as I got further and further back from it. I found myself passing through a window which is shown here on the left and I could see the entire universe through this window and as I pulled back further I saw that there was a chair, an empty chair, next to this window. Then as I pulled back, I realized that this particular area was inside a long tube. It was longer than I've represented in this painting, but I was passing down the tube from this angle now, as you see from the camera, until I realized it was attached to some greater stem. And as I pulled back, I realized that there were other tubes. And these also led to universes and at this stage I was then that I saw all these striations of energy that were just kicking off underneath it. It was very very hard to depict in a way. It was just, just an extreme amount of energy that seemed to be leading into this greater stem. And as I was able to pull back I saw that these tubes were leading to even more cascading. You can see them all kind of cascading backwards. There was at least four on each uh, branch. And then I was brought back into the stem to follow it up. And as I, I was curious what was at the very, very top of this, and I wasn't disappointed because then I saw that there was this three-pronged projection at the top, which was just, it was, it was very similar to the energy below, but just on an even greater volume. Um, when I came to draw this, I found myself compelled to drawing this saucer shaped sun and this on the right, the bottom right. I also felt myself compelled to draw in these figures with rather kind of longer heads than what we're used to seeing. And that is my greatest interpretation of, um, of this painting or of what I saw is that we are looking at some sort of pan-dimensional energy beings here passing up through the multiverse. It was an odd thing, but I, I initially painted these in like a gold color, which is like lightning.
I've been wondering, is this something that is going to appear to us within our lifetimes? And obviously, I'd be absolutely fascinated to know what you make of this image, if you've seen anything like it, in terms of a pan-dimensional tree. Um, I can't help try and find labels, as good as labels or as useless as labels are for something like this. Thank you. 